Hello guys, Genos here and today let's talk and discuss about one of the awesome character in this game of Epic 7 known as Sads and you guys know why. So let's make a good discussion about him. So he's an ice unit, he's a thief and he is a Scorpio and man is he not really great so let's get into the preview skills mode so this is how it looks like in the battle mode so let's do the fastest gear right so this is how it looks like yes so let's get into the detail of the fastest skill so dark shadow acquire one soul for the team and then it penetrates the enemy with dark energy making the enemy unhealable for one turn wow that's really great that's really great and damage dealt increases proportional to the amount of enemies lost health so uh you know like uh, lower the health of the enemy the more damage they are going to receive so this is quite good quite good and now the bread and butter <laughs> skill of our says the passive skill encroach so what does it do if the enemy's health is less than 50 percent after attacking with the dark shadow and extra attack is granted against all enemies with a 50% chance to make them unhealable for one turn oh my god so it's an AOE damage uh, dealing passive skill so it does the AOE damage just like Clarissa right um, but for Clarissa uh, she needs to defeat an opponent in order to trigger her passive skill for an AOE attack but hey for the sets you just need to get the HP of the opponent less than 50% as soon as it's less than 50% then this passive will be triggered automatically and this will deal a lot of damage guys and just do the skill enhancing and that will add a total of 25% more damage just like that so it's really a great great passive skill and this is why also that our says is actually a one of the best farmer in the game okay so he can, he can actually clear the con clear the content very easily and fast okay if you want to go through the game very easily and faster then says is the guy and now <clears throat> looking into the final skill it looks like this oh my okay so uh, looking into the final skill we can see that it's called conviction so it acquires three soul for the team and it has a very long cooldown of six turns so with the skill enhancing it can be uh, decreased down to five turns so inflict inflicts lethal damage to the enemy dealing damage proportional to the enemy's lost health okay so uh, lesser the health of the enemy the more damage he's gonna deal okay if the enemy dies inflicts additional damage to all enemies proportional to the caster's attack so this thing guys is so good guys if you just kill one opponent with this skill oh my god most of the time when you are clearing uh, you know like a PvE content you know like uh, in the adventure mode or in the side, st uh, side story mode you are going to kill all the other mobs okay you are gonna clear the wave okay the wave of enemy will be cleared out just because of killing just one because the other will be following them to the hell just like that okay and it is also very uh useful in the pvp battles as well so uh, just killing by killing one uh, enemy unit with this skill it will also ensure that the other three opponents receive a very enormous damage okay it's it's really awesome guys it's really awesome and i've been really a victim of this skill and then i was like oh my god really just by killing one opponent and <laughs> my whole team is wiped out it is possible guys it is really possible so the soul burn effect obviously there is a soul burn effect with it and consumes 20 soul increases the damage dealt and why not guys why not why not do this even though it consumes 20 soul if you have a slight chance just to increase the damage of this skill so that you can at least you know like defeat the enemy then you know like there is a chance that you are gonna wipe the whole team out so this is really a good uh, you know uh, <coughs> negotiation <laughs> give and take thing right so this is really great guys and now let's move on to the equipment section okay so talking about the equipment for this guy obviously the best thing that you really 
can give to says is obviously the attack and the crit set right because like as you can see that like his third skill really uh, <clears throat> you know scales up with the attack damage right uh, whenever he kills an opponent the other uh, other enemies nearby will be receiving an AOE damage uh, based on his attack skills I mean like his attack stats right so it's better to equip him with the attack crit to make him a pure dps character but hey if you really want to make him a speedy gonzalez then you can also make uh, give him the speed and crit stats okay uh, to make him more speedy farmer okay you can also do that but i would really recommend you guys to go for the attack and the crit uh, sets in his equipment items and obviously in the boots it is supposed to be speed no question asked and in the uh, ring, it needs to be the attack percentage. And also in the necklace, it needs to be the attack percentage. So it's like a speed, attack percentage, and attack percentage for the boots, ring, and the necklace. So let's get into the discussion of his good artifacts now. So what are the best artifacts for him? So the first artifact that is really good for him is obviously the Dust Devil, okay? <laughs> It, it, it really synergizes with his, uh, you know, like uh, his skills, okay? Why? Now let's discuss about it. So the Dust Devil, it gives the 30% chance to attack again with a basic attack, okay? Just the basic attack. That's what he's really good with. After attacking with a basic attack, if the target survives, can be activated once per turn. So he will have a dual chance. I mean, like he will have a 30% chance to attack with the basic skills again. So again, if he's attacking with the basic skill, that means he will have a better chance of uh, getting the HP of an enemy by below 50%. So that means like he is going to induce or he is going to invoke his passive skill, right? So that is really, really great, guys. That is really, really great. And if you want to take it to the next level, then hey, guys, there is a really good item known as the Luciella and the... <clears throat> Sorry, guys, uh, my throat. Uh, this one, guys right over here it's called the rihanna and the luciella oh my god just look at those bodies anyways so level max 20 percent chance to to be granted an extra turn at the end of the turn oh my god oh my god whether it be the special attack or whatever it is it doesn't need to be just the basic attack but he will get the extra chance to attack with any kind of sort of skill okay 20 percent chance and can be activated once per turn it's really great guys any kind of extra turn he gets is gonna be a bread and butter for him he's gonna really uh be <clears throat> taking a lot of advantage from that so now uh Having a discussion about this character, this character is really, really, really great when it comes to the um, PvP content, okay? He is really a monster in the PvP content, or uh, PvP arena, I mean. Whereas in the other uh, other modes also, he's really a very fast farmer, but, you know, like other characters can do a lot more better. But anyways, in the PvP content, just because of the final skill, which can deal the damage to the other opponents as well, he can actually wipe the entire team. He can actually deal a lot of damage, guys, and that will be so awesome, guys, because of his AoE skill, and he is that, uh, you know, the third skill as well, the attack effect. So, uh, that is it, guys. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if I have missed out some content on this guy. If you want to share it on uh, this guy, then please let me know in the comment section below share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below please guys and this is it for today and see you guys in the next video